Hello guys, welcome back to Catabify Training, this is Hams. Today I will show you how to create and insert a splice in your wire harness. This is the representation of a splice in Catabify. It's like a small atom. So to create one, let's go to File New Product. Okay, let's call it Splice Splice 10 because I already created a lot of them. And after that, let's go to define connector. It's on the electrical symbol design workbench. So select define connector and set the splice product. And on the tab, just change for internal splice. Let's call splice 10, and it's going to have a length of 20 millimeters. I'll just put 40. Press OK. And after that, you save the, the new product, your assemble, save. And for those who don't know what is splice, splice looks something like this here. It's to join wires or terminal terminal loops. Okay, and so after that, open your catalog and add a new family called splices remember it's just here on the add family comment after that just double click on the new family and go to add component go to select document and you select your splice that you already create it's open and press ok and you can see here the splice is added to the catalog so you save the catalog and go back to your wing I mean to your assemble and one way to insert splice I like to do it is create point I'm going to create a point where I want to add splice so select the curve here I want to add it at 200 millimeters from the connector Press OK. Now we have the point here. After that, just double click on your assemble to insert the splice on this tree and not inside uh, one of the bundles. So open your catalog here, go to your splice family, double click, select the splice you want to add, and just keep pressing your left left button of your mouse and drag the splice to the bundle you want to add and you're going to have this pop-up that you can write the, the link from in this case is from this connector or you can just write the line here or select the point that we just create select it and press ok now you add your splice to your harness so we can close the catalog and another good practice that I like to do it is create the limit points for this splice because the splice cannot be on a curve or in a in a break point so one way to do it remember we give the properties of 40 millimeters to this place so this is going to be the center of the splice where two wires join So I'm going to create a point from 20 millimeters from here to here. And another point 20 millimeters to the, the other direction. Let me select the point here, reverse direction, and 20 millimeters here. Review. Okay. So these two points are going to be your limit of our flies here. And another thing to I like to do it to oops. Let me see where is my point here. Uh, is here. Is to change the symbol of these points here. You can go to right click properties 
go to the graphic tab, go to symbol, and I like to use the double circle to represent splice in my symbol. And I like to change the color for this splice. Uh, okay, just press OK. Now you have two points that giving you the limits of this splice. So this like this, you know you're not in a in a curve or in a breakpoint. As you can see here, we are okay. And this is the way how to create an insert splice to the harness. So you have any question just let me know. And the last thing I want to show you is this document from the Federal Aviation Administrations that gives you how to insert and create splices. So it says to keep a menu, try to use the menu of splices, avoid high vibration areas. And these are some errors that happen for bad designs when installing the harness. And just you can read this document if you want to get more skills for design for wire harness. It talks about wind radius, where you can use clamps, how to use splices good practice for the science. So I'm going to add this link to the video and well see you guys later in the next video. Bye bye.